going to start with the mineral foundation. Now, I'm not sure how familiar everybody is with mineral foundations. They have been on the market for a little while, and every, we're all becoming very addicted to them. I personally love them. They're very quick and easy to use, and I'm using it with a kabuki brush, and literally, I dip it into the pot, shake off any excess, and then I'm going to start in the center of Tracy's face and just literally sweeping on like you would a powder. Now, the reason I'm starting in the center of her face is because that's normally where you would need to have most coverage. As you can see, I finished putting the foundation on. Now, that was so easy, literally just a brush, brushing it all on. Um, you know, and it just, Tracy's skin looks radiant and glowy. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a tiny little bit of extra foundation just under her eyes, and that's just literally to catch any excess makeup. Just look up for me. That's going to come off the eyeshadow. I will be taking that off later. Just sit right up for me. I don't know if this is a trick that you, that you ladies use, but if you are, you know, putting any eyeshadow on, you do find it kind of falls onto your face. A really good way of avoiding that is just by placing a little bit of loose powder under the eyes like that and then that will catch any excess eyeshadow and we just sweep that off afterwards. Right, onto the eyes. These colours are designed to work well together but you don't necessarily have to use them all at the same time. So I'm going to use the gold and the, I'd say it's like a, a torpy brown colour. So I'm going to start with the gold just close your eyes for me, just on Tracy's eyelids. And I'm actually, I'm just lifting, if you can see, I'm lifting her eyebrow. That just, you know, makes the eye quite taut and makes it much easier, easier for me to apply. So I'm pushing that on. I'm not sweeping it on, because what you'd find if you kind of sweep it on, you tend to sort of shift the color around and you get a lot more pigment if you press it on. So far, I've literally just put a bit of gold on Tracy's eyelids. Now, what I'm going to do now is add a bit of definition. Now, you could do exactly the same with a black, a grey, a brown. You literally, I'm using a brush here, but what I would do, this, you can do this with a pencil, with a liquid eyeliner. You just, you know, you put your makeup on your brush. I take the excess off on my hand. Just close your, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift Tracy's eyebrow up, and then I just literally, I push the colour into Tracy's eyelashes. Now, when her eyes are closed, it doesn't actually look like there's that much going on. But once her eyes open, you'll see the definition. So you're actually using the lash line as your sort of stencil, if you like. And then we're going to do exactly the same underneath. So if you just open your eyes and look up for me, I'm only doing this just to shield her eyes from the light, just to avoid any watery eyes. Okay, just turn over the way. Great. As you can see, we've got some definition on the eyes there, but they're not too heavy. It's still very natural kind of day wear. It's close for me again. Okay, now I'm just going to get rid of that excess powder that we put underneath. So if you just look up for me, that's everything. We just sweep that away. And then you've got a nice, clean finish. Now, I'm going to add some highlights to Tracy's skin now with our skin dew. Mm. And the way I'm going to apply it, Tracy, if you just angle your face, I'm actually going to put it on Tracy's cheekbones. If I was to mix this in with a foundation or put it all over, then Tracy would end up looking quite sweaty. So in order to avoid <laughs> that, <laughs> it's not a good look. In order to avoid that, we're just concentrating, literally, I don't know if you can see that, just got that lovely, if you just turn to the got that really pretty highlight which just kind of catches the light there and I would always use this over the foundation in order to get the maximum effect and the same goes for out of the shadows a little bit under the eyes lots of that nothing Tracy look at you Okay, now onto one of my favourite products. I love Dream Lashes. I'm a big, big fan. 
And one of the easiest ways to get your mascara on without it going cloggy and all sort of, you know, going congealed is to use the zigzag effect. Basically, the way that works, once again, we lift the eyebrow up. Tracy, if you look down to this cheekbone when I do this eye, and then this cheekbone when I do this eye, just cast your eyes down. I mean, literally, we're going to zigzag the lashes out. Now, I'm just going to point out, because you guys are very hot on hygiene, this is a brand new pack. <laughs> yeah. Just for the record. This is no, actually no Tracy's personal kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, we'd use one. Keep your eyes down for me. So make sure you cover the top of the lashes as well as the bottom of the lashes. It just—it's all about just you know having that little bit of definition without looking like you're sort of caked in makeup, and we're just enhancing. That's why you know it's, we've called it natural beauty because it is all about enhancing you know, your natural beauty. And then I'm just going to put a tiny little bit on the bottom lashes. Just look up for me. We don't want those kind of big spidery, spiky bottom lashes. We just, again, we're just having a little bit of definition. Okay, now on to cheeks. Now, I'm a big blusher fan and Blusher can be used to hide a multitude of sins and it's great if you're feeling a bit tired, if you're in the winter and you're looking a bit pale, a bit washed out, it's a really great way of putting a bit of colour onto your face. So what I'm going to do is actually put the blusher on the apples of Tracy's cheeks. Now the, way, the easiest way to find that, your apples of your cheeks, if you do a little smile for me, there we go, you can see them there. And that's just, it's just a very youthful way of kind of using your blush rather than doing, you know, a very kind of strong contouring. Don't do me a little smile and literally starting in the centre and just bringing that out. Are you smiling? It's <laughs> great. Okay. Right, on to lips. Now, how many of you do this? when you put your lipstick on. I know I've seen my mum do it, I've seen people on the tube do it, they put their lipstick on and they do that. Now, when you do that, you're actually distorting your mouth's natural shape. So one of the easy, I mean, it's, it's different if you're doing it on yourself, because we all know, you know, our, our mouth's natural shape. If you're doing the makeup on somebody else, the easiest way to find your mouth's most natural shape is if you literally, if you just drop your mouth open slightly, like that. When your mouth is like that, it's at its most natural shape. And this particularly applies if you're applying a strong lip colour. So I'm going to apply the lipstick with a brush. Just open your mouth slightly. Again, starting in the centre of the lip. Now this look, you can either just use a lip gloss or a, a lipstick. You know, some women prefer to, to have a lipstick, some prefer a gloss. I mean, a gloss is a little bit more high maintenance. I'm actually going to use both today. So we're going to start with the lipstick and I'm going to add a tiny little bit of gloss at the end. And gloss is great, you know, if you've got quite thin lips and you kind of want to make your lips look a bit fuller, the worst thing you can do is try and use a, a lip liner and, you know, draw over your lips natural line because you're not fooling anybody. <laughs> we all see it, we all know it's there. One of the best things to do is use a lipstick that's quite natural. I would avoid sort of very, very dark colours. And then, you know, just kind of use a little bit of gloss in the centre of your lips. And that just gives your lips a much fuller appearance. And we're literally just going to put a little dab of gloss in the centre. Just open your mouth slightly. And there we go. How gorgeous is that? Natural beauty. <laughs> Thank you.